Day 36, all right. So, it's gonna be a, a tough video to talk about. Um, it's gonna be a good thumbnail, because the thumbnail's gonna be like, hey, I blew up my account. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I blew up my account. I traded MIST, this was on Thursday. Um, didn't follow my stops. Went sized in really hard before pre uh, before market open, and it spiked up, and I held through it all day. And we we had an opportunity to take three hundred dollars off, but I didn't even want to take half, and I wanted my home run so bad. So um, ended up turning on me, and at the end of the day, we went up to like ten dollars, and it went there from. You could see it. My account blew up in probably five minutes. So that's the life of day trading. Um, and when I say blow up my account, it means I didn't follow my stops. I completely let the brokerage liquidate me. Um, and yeah, it, it, it's. I mean, it's a tough. It's a tough thing to to have to endure. And I look at my statements right now. We are at a hundred and sixty eight dollars. So. What do I do here? What am I gonna do from here on out? Um, I'm not. I'm not quitting this challenge. We're still gonna get 200k. That's that's number one. What I will have to do is I will have to deposit more money. Doesn't matter how much. It's gonna be a, a, an amount that will still kind of consistently allow me to make gains at around 200, 300, 400 dollars a day. Um, it won't be an insane amount where I, I can just have leverage like crazy and make big gains. Um, but what I will be doing is I will be redepositing and we're gonna keep up with the current balance that I have. So we have $168 um, as, our, as our bankroll right now. And that's, that's, a, pretty, that's a pretty low amount. Um, I could use that $168 and try to gain 50, $100 days, try to double it up, but at that point, I, I don't think I'm really learning anything. I'm just kind of gambling. So I still want to continue to work on this this uh, day trading and keep recording my progress and, and show you guys this, this lifestyle. It's not easy. We had a really good track history from day 11, day 10, all the way to about day 28, day, no, day, day 29, day 30, day 30. All the way to about day 30, we had, we had day 30, we were peaking, we had a $510 day, we peaked at $4,800, we came from 1200 to 4800 and then two bad, really bad trades where I held through, I bag hold ALT, and, and this last one I bag hold um, uh, MIST, which, which ran up, it was another pharmaceutical that I was trying to short, but just two really really bad trades and i i really think a lot of it has to do with a the the rules that i have were not being followed b a lot of personal things that are going through my life and and c just anxiety straight anxiety and lack of confidence um you know there there's there's a lot of emotions in trading and i think you know the the market's going to humble you if you do not admit when you're wrong and and um, you know, there's a difference between confidence and, and cockiness. And you know, when you're not truly confident, sometimes my cockiness will will step in because I want to be right. I want to be right. You know, I can't I can't be wrong because I don't want to be wrong. And, and you know, just being confident and then being wrong doesn't mean you're fucking wrong. It just it just means that you know, hey, the thesis may be be correct, but right now you're just you're not on the right side at the right moment. So. A lot of different factors. I want to try to do some new things with this as well. I want to try to update my trades better and record the vlog better and, and really just try to keep myself accountable. Maybe write some diaries about this and, and reflect on it through video. But this is a journey, man. This is a, this is a, uh, this is a marathon, not a sprint. So day 36, I think it's going to be minus 2200, somewhere around there, some ridiculous amount. But we're gonna put that. We'll probably just put blew up my account. So, anyways, just want to update you guys. We're gonna keep going. Uh, Monday or Tuesday, whenever 
whenever my brokerage is refunded, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep driving for it. So um, hopefully we'll we'll look back at this and just see this as a hey, just a setback of learning experiences. So all right, we'll see y'all tomorrow.